All right, back on Thief, Summoner, and Chemist. Hoping to get Thief and Chemist done shortly. 25,000 gil out of that one. Just pretty much what level you are times a thousand. Let's just move on. We have three more floors to go through, it looks like. Up to level 20. Let's go right this time. Why not, right? Hey, what do you know? 29. I think... If I remember right, the last one's in the middle, like, every time. And I think there's a new enemy in this one, too. This one's kind of scripted. It, we are up against a new enemy. This is the Soul Cannon. And for this guy, I have uh, given Krill, Krill white magic. Uh, because this guy does have a uh, beam cannon, which we have seen before. It packs quite a punch, as I'm sure you'll remember. Hopefully, though, we can deal with him. Mmm, there's that beam cannon. Let's go ahead and heal everybody because as you see there, or as you might have seen, it does have drain on it. So, we're pretty much going to go for cure 3. Just go for max heal. You know, what? A I don't think I need to save MP all that much. And we got a protect ring off of it. Very nice. A shot, please. Hopefully that sh that will be enough damage, but I don't think it is. I think Yeah, I think we need one more round. I don't care who you heal. It doesn't really matter, Ferris. You are not important for this fight anymore. I am sorry. Your role has been taken. Zap Wave! Which does stop Reyna. Unfortunately. So, let's cure everybody. Get them back up to... I think that's to, to max again. And... Hopefully Bart can finish the Soul Cannon off this time with one more S-Shot. One thing I do like is that S-Shot does stop the drain. Not enough for the victory still, huh? I don't think smacking Reyna is going to get her out of stop. I don't think that works that way. Well, crap. Jeez, man. Alright, gear 3 across the board. I have plenty of MP. We're almost at the top and I should be able to teleport out. At the very least, we won't have these wall things to fight on the way down. But I'm pretty sure I can just teleport on out of here. Soul Cannon! Down! Just like I thought. You get 625 experience, 5 ability points for that. Nobody gets a job level up, but we are very, very, very close. And it sounds like that I did get... an item out of that. Just a potion. Kind of hoping for something better. But let's head up here. We've made it to the 30th floor. And there's the dragon, who Raina never even bothered to give a name, but is very important to her. Is this the one who helped Raina? It is. I recognize that call everywhere. Anywhere. You know what I mean. And off it flies, because it never really cared about her. Dragon, where are you going? He says he's going to help He's going to do something to help you, Reyna. What's he going to do? Dragon! No, I loved you, Dragon. It's like when you go over to somebody's house and they're like, What's your dog's name? Puppy. Oh. C couldn't come up with anything better, could you? Just, you know, my dragon. What's his name? Dragon. Oh. Oh. W turned bright red. Is he, is he falling? Oh, that is a death cry. He, he killed himself. How is this helping? Raina, he, he knew he didn't have long to live. I'll just to save B. He wanted to find some way to help you. That's why he came here. Dragon. Did the f doctor fix Mama? N no. Dear, the doctor did the be his best, but the only thing that can cure her is a dragon's tongue. Reyna, where are you going with that knife? Certainly you're not going to. Wait! I'll go.
Princess Reyna, if you kill him, there will be no more dragons left. Remember, he had a mother who loved him just as yours loves you. Do you still want to cut his tongue out? Now, this is an option that you actually have. I've never really understood this in this game. You can choose to change history because I'm pretty sure the dragon had its tongue. You know what I mean? It's doing all these calls. Um, th the correct answer is no. You don't want to cut the, the dragon's tongue out. You want to save the dragon. The king has come here every day debating what to do. But you did the right thing. Mama! Ooh. Yeah, uh, you can either save her mom's life or, or, or save the dragon. You want to save the dragon. If there's just one dragon, though, I don't see what the point of keeping it alive is. Except for this. You received the summon monster Phoenix! Oh, dragon. Thank you. And we have received the Phoenix Summon once again because it was sad we don't get fanfare. I don't think we actually need to use it as an item. There it is. Down here at the bottom looks like we have just one more summon to get. And I bet you all remember who that's supposed to be. And we got a full heal out of that. That's kind of weird. Uh, Phoenix costs 99 MP. The next most expensive one is Odin, which costs less than half of that. Phoenix revives everybody that is dead in your party. Uh, that is why the magic lamp will not uh, use Phoenix when you, when you go down the list of, of all the summon monsters, but it is very, very important. Should you need it, you know, if you have multiple things, multiple party members dead, and, you know, and you got the MP for it, go for it, but 99 MP is asking a lot. All right, I will meet you back at the airship for one last side quest okay i made it back to my chocobo and i have rearranged my party a bit because reyna and ferris did reach that next level in their jobs so reyna is now a samurai the ability that you get for mastering thief is footwork which gives you the same speed as a thief which is pretty nice but i'd rather mug uh, for Ferris, uh, you do get the Revive ability, which is very nice. It gives, um, I believe, a Revive. It, it casts life on every single one of your party members at once for free. Very nice ability. I will try to use that later on, um, maybe in the final dungeon when things can get a little bit hectic. But for now, Ferris is a red mage learning with the healing staff still equipped. And of course, Reyna has the Massimone equipped. So, we are ready to take on, well, we might change the party a bit, but we are more or less ready to take on the last side quest here. We need to head north. Do we have a new enemy? No. So let's continue heading north. We need to head the other way that we went for the Phoenix Tower, which is up and around to the northeast. There is a new enemy I'm trying to show off here. That is not one of them. It is a little bit of a journey, but it is well worth it. Just like the Phoenix Tower was, but to be honest, this one isn't quite as rewarding as that one with all the ability points we get there. Are you going to show me the new enemy? No! Damn it! That guy is difficult, and I wanted to show him off, but they're not letting me, so we'll have to avoid him for now. We need to go back to North Mountain, and the enemies are exactly the same here as they were the first time we were here. Look at those things. So I will be cutting out all of those enemies but we just need to make it to the top of North Mountain. It's been the entire game since we've been here, so I might get lost a little bit along the way, but I think I have a general idea of about where I am. Fucking Gila Cats are here. I forgot all about them. Fucking Gila Cats. Oh my god. It's been so long that it disturbed me all over again to see those fucking things. <laughs> Alright, stay away from the purple flowers! They are... dragon grass, and we'll poison Let's just continue making our way up, being very careful to avoid all this purple shit. Do not like the purple. Hey! I actually need to use this, <laughs> to be honest. 
Alright, all healed and saved and hopefully ready to move on. I have changed a couple abilities here. Krill is now on time instead of Earth. Earth is not going to really help me here. Uh, Ferris, what are you doing with that? You need to be on uh, black magic. There we go. What the hell happened? I swear I, I, I changed her around. Alright, there we go. Black magic for Ferris and time magic for krill everybody else is the same this isn't my best party setup that i could possibly come up with but it is good i hope it is good enough let us head out of here and up to the top everything's been easy up to this point but do you remember who was waiting for us at north mountain i bet you don't it's bahamut the final summon that we need to get in this game Spoiler alert, he's a summon, just like every other Final Fantasy game. Let's see if you're a worthy, worthy opponent for me. I hope I am. And by I hope I am, I mean I hope I can do enough damage before you do your ultimate move, which, just like any other Final Fantasy game, Mega Flare. So hopefully I can avoid that. What we're going to need to do here is Flare Sword. Thank you, Bards, for Flare Sword. Get that going. Uh, Ferris needs, of course, to spam Flare. Just use whatever I can to get as much damage done as I can done to him. Krill, on the other hand, Krill needs to speed us the fuck up. Let's go. Haste 2, please. Let's get this started as, as quickly as we can. We need to move fast. S shot. And look at that. Is that like 5,600 damage? That will do. That will do. Reyna, unfortunately, is not going to do very much damage for us. Uh, she, not that I could really get her to do that much damage with anybody. Monk actually sucks really late game. I, I can't find a good use for it. 3,000 there, though. 3,000 there. Um, actually, I think Meteo is going to be our best damage dealer here. Uh, let's see. How much does that do? Because I know Leviathan... Um... It's close. It is close. Aqua Rake. That's kind of expected. I'm not even going to bother healing that, though, to be honest with you. I'm just going to try to go for as much damage as I can. Because this is kind of a race. And the race is until he uses Mega Flare. <laughs> Mega Flare will kill me! Um... Uh, so I don't really see a point in healing. Maybe an aqua, another Aqua Rake would kill me, but I don't want that to happen. Hopefully, yes, critical shot there. Uh, let's let's try Leviathan. Leviathan does around 3,000, if I remember correctly. And that will definitely help me out here. Oh, 2,300. No, it was better to use Meteo by a long shot. So let's just stick with Meteo from now on. S shot, please do it for me. Uh, I don't think... I don't know, we could be close to the end here. We could be close to finishing him off, but I don't want to jinx it. Bahamut is a tough-ass fight. He is not easy. And it's just, yes, <laughs> down he goes. <laughs> it's just getting as much damage done as quickly as you can. Yes, you get 25 ability points for that fight. All of which is greatly appreciated. And we get an item outside of that. We get another Dragon Fang. I will take it. Dragon Fangs are always appreciated. And as expected, we have received our last summon monster. And once again, we should be able to use him without having... Yes, without having to use an item. So we have completed our summon list here. And as we are very, very close, Bart will yeah, level up on the way back to uh, on on the way back to the chocobo. And I will be doing that off screen because that is going to do it for these parts of Let's Play Final Fantasy V. I've been Bala Scoopa. I've been joined as always by my now endgame squad of Parts, Raina, Krill, and Ferris. Hope you guys have enjoyed these parts. Hope you laughed. Hope you learned. Hope to see you next time. Thanks for watching.